My name is uh, Sharon Brownie, and I'm the Professor and Dean of the School of Nursing and Midwifery in Aga Khan University for East Africa. First of all, I'm a registered nurse and a midwife, and I've built on that um, basic foundation over the years, and I now lead uh, three schools of nursing across East Africa, one in Nairobi, uh, one in Kampala, and one in Dar es Salaam. So that's Tanzania, uh, Uganda, and Kenya. And we specialise in providing upgrade programs for working nurses from enrolled nurse to diploma and diploma to bachelor nursing or bachelor in midwifery. Globally, uh, the health workforce is challenged by insufficient numbers and um, inequitable distribution of the workforce. So currently, there's almost a billion people who don't have access um, to affordable um, health care. And so um, most of that is due to health workforce shortage and health workforce maldistribution. That is exacerbated um, in East Africa, where, uh, and in Kenya in particular, where there might be um, a significantly less percentage of nurses per thousand population than it is recommended. Uh, the challenge of how that relates within healthcare sectors and in inpatient units, like neonatal units, there are simply um, insufficient hands, quite often, to be able to provide the quality and level of care. Sometimes nurses um, are looking up to um, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 babies each alone and there's insufficient resource to provide the care that's needed. The recent um, large-scale research project um, has been important and welcomed. It's important from the point of view that um, Kenya still has um, statistics that show that far too many newborns die and don't reach uh, that first month of life and their first five years of life. So this research is important because it's really helped focus um, what are the issues, uh, what is the quality of care, um, what care is provided, what care is missed, what resources um, might be needed. And so uh, the reason that this is unique is that rather than rushing to a um, suggested or recommended solution, first of all the research has been done to actually understand what the issues are and where the gaps are and that's what can be then help build solutions into the future. The most important things for improving nursing relates to several well-known um, documented pillars of nursing. There needs to be the right enabling legislation. So there needs to be legislation that allows um, under a Nurses Act for advanced and specialty practice. Another pillar is that there needs to be sufficient resourcing um, so that there's sufficient numbers of nurses. And then the third pillar is it needs to be access to education and the right kind of programs for nurses to develop specialty and advanced skills in areas like neonatal nursing, um, midwifery, all cadres um, and all areas of nursing practice. Kenya, like many um, uh, East African countries, has um, limited numbers of nurses with specialist qualifications. So if we're talking neonatal nursing, it's important for there to be um, uh, legislation and enabling um, conditions for specialty and advanced nursing practice, including the right education. And then of course there is the issue of there needs to be um, sufficient nurses and resourcing through the health system to be able to provide and meet um, the level of demand and need that exists. Further research is needed to um, understand and to delve more into the major causes of death, uh, the strategies that work the best in helping um, mothers and families um, care for new newborns, uh, the amount of resourcing that's required, uh, those combinations of factors will help ensure that um, the right solutions are put in place. More generally, it's important to, um, for research priorities, it's important to look at the particular needs of a population and the health trends. Uh, Kenya, um, like the other East African countries, um, has alarming rates of non-communicable disease, um, diabetes, um, cancers, cardiovascular disease, diseases of lifestyle, diseases of urbanisation, and there needs to be um, a lot more research in those areas. There also needs to be more um, research that will assist in health literacy. The levels of cancer are rising and people tend to come very late 
because they don't necessarily have the information to have understood early signs of cancer. So uh, research into areas of what the population does know, what kind of health education, health promotion, and how to halt some of those things earlier.